So we're standing here visiting with Brandon Hessenthaler today outside of Byron, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they're growing and how they're managing their soil. What are you doing in terms of soil management? Are you trying some new things? We are. We're trying to get away from the moldboard plow and doing a little bit, using maybe just a soil finisher or a disc ripper and sure. eliminating a few passes in the field. So by reducing some of your passes, what are the benefits of that for you guys? It saves fuel, it saves time and, and money, and yeah. Yeah, it, it time. saves everything. Any, the less passes you make, yeah. the, the better off you are. Have you seen any costs or challenges with it when, you, when you've reduced some of your passes and changed it up a little bit? There's nothing that would make me go back to the other way. Okay. Uh, you know, in certain fields, maybe if you had a steep side hill, uh -huh. irrigating might be a problem, but sure. up to this point, we really don't see yeah. any reason to, we don't feel that our yields have suffered at all. Yeah. Has it changed how you've had to irrigate or anything, changed your water management at all? No, it really hasn't. No, we continue to, yeah. to irrigate the same. And your nutrient management stayed pretty much the same too? Pretty much the same for now. And the beets are happy? Beets are happy. They don't mind. So what this field we're standing in front of here just came out of beans, and it's going to go back into what this fall? It'll go into barley it'll next spring. It'll go into spring. barley. So it'll be empty for the winter. It'll go into barley in the spring. Yes. And what, what will you do in this field before you plant barley? We will spread fertilizer, dry fertilizer with okay. a, just a cart, okay. and then we'll hit it with the soil finisher and then plant okay. and corrugate. What motivated you to, to change some of your tillage? It was something I always wanted to try, uh -huh. but we needed a reputable farmer to do the same thing in our area and so once that was done once and then we said hey he's doing this and so we're able to give it a try and one field uh, it was wheat and then we at the time we didn't have the disc ripper so we just used a v-ripper uh -huh. a disc and then roller harrow and then we planted our beets and it was the best field we had that year oh that's great i don't believe it was because of that but it just showed that hey it, yep. this works are you still plowing a lot of your fields no. You've gotten away from it completely. No, we plowed 30 acres this year. Okay. And it was uh, corn that we'd combined, so there was quite a bit of stocks. And... That's a big change. Yeah, it is. When did, that, when did you make that change? When we got the disc ripper in, I think it was 2012, okay. that, sp that fall. and So it's been about three years now? Yep. Yeah. Do you have any advice for someone who, wanted to tr who was interested in trying the same thing or reducing or changing some of their tillage? Try it in a small field. Yeah, don't, don't go all in at once. Yeah, all the neighbors I talk to, their biggest concern is irrigating. Uh -huh. sure. You know, maybe a field with short runs or something like that where you know it's not a, a big deal. Try it and see how it works. So you're doing reducing your tillage in both your pivot irrigated and flood irrigated fields? Yes. Yeah. Have you noticed much difference in the soil after you've changed your tillage? There was a pivot that we put in that we brought in some new ground. It's really helped the soil health. Yeah. Definitely the ground is more mellow yeah. and there's places where nothing grew six years ago and now we have things growing. And you do a soil test every year for fertilizer for nutrients? Not really. We did soil tests and they always came back with the same results so we just said... <laughs> right. You're pretty consistent in your management. They <laughs> just told us to do the same yeah, thing so... Yeah. Well, I'd be interested to see in, uh, over time as if your organic matter changes and how much. You know, there's, yeah, there's, there's a limited amount that you'll probably see change here in these dry soils but be interesting to see. Yeah, it, it has to be improving yeah, some, yeah. especially where yeah. we leave a lot of barley. So do you gra have any fields that you graze? We do. Yeah, anything with a significant amount of crop residue, we'll uh -huh. put cows on and right. let them graze. And you haven't been doing it for very long yet either, and so it's, yeah, it's relatively that early, new. early phase, but it's encouraging to see that, you're, that it's not costing you anything. You're not seeing a lag period or a transition period where it costs you something and then the benefits don't come to later. So it's great to see yeah, that. Yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty easy to, to make the move. So to make these changes, did it require investing in any additional equipment? The only new piece of equipment was the, the disc ripper. Okay. But everything else stayed the same? Yeah, everything else stayed the same. So, but it's working pretty well. It does. We're very pleased and yeah. Yeah. don't see any reason to go back to the old way.